this problem, we have to evaluate this indefinite integral. So we have powers of secant and tangent. So whenever you have powers of secant and tangent, there is a general rule that you can follow. If you have an even power of secant, you can save a copy of secant squared. And if you have an odd power of tangent, you can save a copy of secant tangent. In this problem, we have both. We have an even power of secant, and we have an odd power of tangent to the first power. Let's go ahead and rewrite this and just choose to save a copy of secant squared. So I'm going to write it like this, tangent of x over 8. And by save a copy of secant squared, we basically mean that we write it over here next to the dx, because it's going to be part of our du. Okay, so we've essentially saved a copy of secant squared. So once you save a secant squared, you always let u be equal to your tangent function. So u is equal to the tangent of x over 8. Now notice that when we take the derivative of tangent, well, the derivative of tangent is secant squared of x over 8 times the derivative of the inside, which is just 1 over 8. That's the chain rule. And then dx. Remember, you could think of x over 8 as 1 eighth times x. So when you take the derivative, you're basically taking the derivative of x, which is 1, and the 1 eighth hangs out. We don't have a 1 eighth in our integral, so if we multiply both sides by 8, that will get rid of the 1 eighth. So that will give us secant squared of x over 8 dx. So now we have this and we have this. These are the same thing, right? So all we do is replace secant squared dx with 8 du. So this will be 8 integral and then tangent was u, so we have u du. Right? So this piece here was 8 du and the tangent was u, so everything looks okay. Using the power rule, there's a 1 here, so we'll add 1 to that, so it'll be u to the 2. And then you divide by that, so over 2 plus capital C. The last thing to do is maybe simplify. So 8 over 2 is 4, and then u was the tangent of x over 8. So I'll write it like this, tangent of x over 8. And the whole thing here is squared, and then we still have our capital C. And that would be the final answer. Again, we had two choices in this problem. We had an even power of secant, and we had an odd power of tangent. So even secant, save a secant squared. We did that, and we chose to let u be equal to tangent. I hope this video has been helpful.